little quick project I did. Uh, this is a, a suburban tool sign vise. You know, tool makers vise, grinding vise, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I, all I did was I cleaned it up a little bit. I picked it up on eBay, and I think I've showed it before. And uh, cleaned it up with some Scotch Brite. That's all I've done. But uh, it's in pretty darn good shape. It's uh, all the edges are nice and crisp and clean. Little little grind mark right here on the corner or ding here, but that's about it. But anyway, the uh, this uh, screw has a pretty uh, nasty groove worn in it. And that is from this little spherical washer goes in here and it rubs against the slot that's been cut in here. It rubs against the edge. And so over the years or whatever, the use, it's worn this really deep groove in here. And it's an Allen head. And here's the nut. This is the nut that is up underneath. It has a couple of pins and fits in the, between here uh, in, into the little slots. I'll show that afterwards here. So uh, I have uh, another grinding vise, a, a small Herman Schmidt one, and it uses this nice little T-wrench, half-inch hex T-wrench. So I thought I just would make a new one instead of having to grab an Allen key all the time or with this one. And I decided I just make I just made one up, right, with a hex half-inch hex. Came out real nice. It's five sixteenths twenty-four. And then I heat treated it. I made this out of W1 and heat treated it. I want to say that I what what in doing this, I thought I'd look up the specs about the temperature for W1 and, and all that stuff. And I found a really good website, HudsonToolSteel.com, all one word, HudsonToolSteel.com, and go to technical data. And there they list all these tool steels. And their specifications and some really good information about heat treating each one. Uh, I thought it was excellent. Uh, some of the best I've uh, found online. It's one page, uh, you know, or well, a couple pages per 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 steel. Just excellent information uh, for some quick and dirty. Uh, no graphs to look at and things like that. They lay it out really well. Uh, so if there's something, if, so if you want to look up some uh, tool steels. On uh, hardening, how long you got to soak them for, uh, temperatures and all that. It, it's really good information. So this one came out right around 50 uh, after I tempered it. So that came out really nice and it goes in there. This uh, nut goes up underneath here. We'll just capture it here. And you can see how it's like mo it's like most of them how this they there's you know a scalloped or open gear tooth kind of pattern for those pins to slip into down in here and that's what catches and then you have so much there's only so much sliding range uh for the jaw of course to uh, catch in You know, per per little slot there that it catches in. Yeah, there, yeah. So you get uh, oh, a quarter inch, maybe a little more, roughly, uh, of room there to put your part in and then tighten it up, and then it, it, it pushes, it brings it forward. Then you can once it's loose, it will slide. Then you engage it into one of the slots, and then, and as it tightens, it pulls it forward. Pretty nice, and but it, I can use the same wrench now. I don't have to grab a another wrench out, or I can just keep this one wrench uh, for both vices. So I'm pretty happy with that. Came out good, but it was uh, the the heat treatment information. Uh, is some really good information right here. And I used my heat gun to measure the temperature of the metal uh, as I was heating it and as I held it at temperature for tempering and, uh, and hardening. 
All right. Thanks, you guys.